Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you once again. I hope you are doing well. Uh, my name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're playing Strontium Dog The Killing based on characters from 2000 and AD. That comic, I mean no judge dread from that, I have to admit. It was published by Quicksilver in 1984 and the game's been authored with something called M-Coder 2 which was created from, uh, by PSS in 1983 if you're into that sort of thing. But how it boils down, we in a maze game, we control a character called Johnny Alpha and the galaxy's most um, notorious murderers have been placed in this maze and must fight to the death. I presume you're one of them. And you must go round and try and shoot them all before they shoot you. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, the keys are left, right, uh, up and down, fire, and also fire your electro flare, which apparently is needed to destroy these um, medi centers. Anyway, so here we go. It's not scrolling particularly good, but it is 1984. I think better games were available, but anyway, if you use into the magazine 2000 or the comic 2000 AD, you might have come across uh, this one. As I say, I only know about Judge Dredd there. If you had this game back in the day, you'd let me know. We all know already. Why am I saying it for new people? This is an excellent mate gameplay. Ninko Poop Chat, dodgy gameplay, seeing how you would have gotten with the game at your first or second go. What are those stripey things? Are they going to kill me? Yes, they are. There's that, quickly answered. I'm Johnny Alpha, the man with the silliest name in the world if you don't count Reg Booby. Right, so I've died, I eliminated no criminals, and I think one of the criminals took me out there, but unfortunately, not for dinner. So let's go, let's have a few goes on this. Borzak was here. Well, there's a bit of graffiti, I can't comment on that. If you are Borzak, then comment in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, that keeps your channel going, you know. Uh, right, okay. A big thank you to those people who subscribed so far, in particular the members. I think you are the best people in the entire universe. Yay! Uh, good. If you want to be a member, it's not compulsory, but it does help me out. Click on that join button below. It doesn't join you straight away. It tells you a bit what it's about. Right, so we don't go into those funny coloured lines. We know about this now. It reminds me a little bit, the game idea reminds me a little bit of that film, or the novel I suppose, The Running Man, well, you might be more familiar with the film with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, who kept telling people he'd be back, where he was a, a criminal put with other criminals or gladiators and had to try and kill each other. Who is this bloke? It looks like Elvis Presley. Oh, come on, Elvis Presley throwing yellow stuff at me. Right, how can we, oh, we need to destroy Elvis. Oh, right, let's get around. So, look, on the top right, the alien scan there, uh, living, that must be our energy or something, uh, death's numb, we've killed no one. On the other side, lives, yep, and what sector we're in, and the bounty we've collected so far for killing people. I think it goes without saying, well I'll say it anyway, because this is a commentary video, um, a map would be extremely useful here. There's a few screens that look identical from each other, and when you're going through identical screens, that's when it's very easy to become lost, and that's why people come lost in the woods. If you're currently lost in the woods, or a, or a bizarre jungle, then comment in the comment section below. Maybe people could answer your comment telling you left, right, forward, or jump, or something. A bit like that game, uh, Nightmare, that used to be on the telly. You never know. You you might escape, or you might get eaten by stuff. Never mind. Anyway, give it a like. We go all at the Medi Center. Now I think I had to throw a flare in there. So other better maze games were available, particular Attic Attack. That's my favourite ones, and um, there. But there was a, there was a lot of ones going on. This is sort of okay. Uh, I would have played it a few times, but I think it would have infuriated me um, that I wouldn't get too far. But I think these and driving games, especially in the ZX Spectrum, were my favourite. Just exploring and seeing what different graphics there were on different screens. A bit like going around an art gallery or something. So anything that flashes uh, will kill you. Uh, maybe in the real world as well, but definitely in this game, everything that flashes will kill you, so don't go into that. Um, I don't know how we take out those beams, shall we destroy them? We need to do that as well. I think, I might be wrong, I think there are, I sometimes am, you know, don't tell anyone. Um, I think there's five criminals you've got to kill. It'd be great if I could just kill one of them to show you what's going on. It'd be good if we can find Elvis and shoot him. It's not really Elvis, it's uh, there for people, Elvis fans have a go at me. It's someone impersonating Elvis. Right, okay. Yeah, I think you need to guess what window he's at and then uh, give him everything that you possibly can. Uh, the magazine or the comic I used to buy, uh, well, as well as Oink, was to be uh, the Eagle magazine, which had Dan Dare in and Doom Lord, but I never got 2000 AD, so I, miss I missed out a bit there. 
we was allowed to have one comic and that was it uh, I think uh, when Eagle stopped I think it stopped I went over to Oink which is you know a very bizarre comic it was a bit like a kid's version it's a bit naughty but a, bit a kid's version of Viz really it wasn't that rude but it was, it was kid rude if you know what I mean right this guy he's got a green suit and a bright yellow head and we're trying to get out of this I don't think I would have completed this back in the day and I think every go I would have had on the thing would have been uh, vaguely similar um, Quicksilver put out quite a lot of games there's quite a, a, um, a prolific uh, publishing house along with Ocean and Melbourne House as well there, there was a few of them wasn't there Mastertronic in particular that might be a name you've heard of then you got ones that are a bit uh, more obscure Houston put out slightly less but they was a well known name too put, uh, and Ultimate also had the quality game it didn't last very long early 80s Put your favourite um, uh, ZX Spectrum publisher in the uh, description below. It might even be Elite or someone like that. Right, I killed someone. Is that? Did I kill them without realising? I must have killed someone when I was jibber-jabbering. Was it Elvis? Hmm. Anyway, I killed someone. Right, go. Right, okay, there's more criminals there. Two Elvises. Right, okay. Uh, come on. It's gonna be a blue... Yes! Look, two deaths. I've killed two of them. Well, that's not bad. Oh, it says criminals eliminated one, though. Why is that? I thought it said two before. Bounty gain, 20,000. And hopefully, uh, the publishers, Quicksilver, will send me the 20,000 credits in the post. And I'll use that to buy a big, big... What can I buy for 20,000 pounds? A lot of jelly babies, anyway. Could someone quickly do the maths? How many jelly babies can I buy for 20,000, let's say, pounds? How can I buy that? Can someone do the maths and let me know in the comment section below. And how much room would I need in my garage? Let the killing begin! Okay, right, okay. Well, mainly the killing of me, I think, in this... Um, the game is well. It's it's not brilliant, is it? But it's not rubbish either. It's pretty pretty average as stuff goes. Uh, some of the rooms I like. Some of the rooms I don't. It's a bit boring. It it works better as a top down game rather than an isometric, which was getting in vogue around about this time. So I like it in that respect. It's it's a bit square. Attic Attack, uh, one of my favourite ones. Now a game should be done. It's like. Um, made it not so square with the uh, graphics probably had a slightly smaller playing area between bits there made the rooms a little bit different right okay right now which window is going to come on this one hopefully as soon as he turns up he's dead turn up at this window see look death's one so that's how you do it good so that's one of the five done so that's him blown up to pieces i don't know what his backstory was something pretty exciting i would i would think right I uh, only got, what's that, Bounty 2? Two. £2 pounds for killing him. What did he do? Tread on someone's foot at a disco? Oh man, that seems like a heinous crime worth putting up a bounty of £2. Pounds. Stupido. Perhaps that's, uh, perhaps that's random, lad. Anyway, he's dead now, and he won't be stepping on anyone's feet in any discos anytime soon. Right. Oh man, if you're a criminal on the run in a hideout somewhere, of course, you don't give away your location. Being chased by the police because you stood on someone's toe at a disco once? Then comment in the comment section below. How's it going? Uh, do you think you should hand yourself in? They'll probably go lenient on you. They probably won't shoot you with, with a ray gun. Um, disclaimer, they might do. Uh, just try your luck, really. Right, go. I mean, if you've got a bounty on your head of two pounds, you must be pretty dangerous. Oh, man. Right, okay. If you weren't here... I would have turned this game off by now. Um, but there we go. We only used to be at about 10 minutes. Sometimes they're, well, most of the time they're ever so slightly longer because I get carried away playing the game. This one, I'm just looking at the clock because I don't want to play it anymore. Right, okay. I can't blast that thing. My flares don't work. My trousers with flares. Come on. The Medi Center, right. Oh god, I've got to throw flares in here. It's not letting me do it. I'm getting killed straight away. Oh, that's a quick way to lose lives, I think. Shall I go for it? On your mark, set, go! Well, that didn't work. And I, oh, God. You failed in your mission. You have been terminated. Criminals eliminated one. Well, I got up to two, but when it, the summer at the end, it tended to go back to there. Okay, well, it's an okay game. Fans of 2000 AD might like it. It's not, it's not the best example, but it survives. It's okay what it does. Couldn't take much of this, but, you know, I couldn't take much of Horizon's Go Scheme when it did something similar at the start, and I like that too. So anyway, worth checking out, but don't spend your whole life here. So, hope you like having a look at that game. That Strontium Dog, The Killing, uh, published by Quicksilver. 
Silver in 1984, based on characters from the comic 2000 AD. If you any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. Who is this bloke? It looks like Elvis Presley. Oh, I want Elvis Presley throwing yellow stuff at me. Right, how can we... Oh, we need to destroy Elvis. Oh, oh.